And welcome back to In the News here at GlobalTalkRadio.com. Today we've invited Tom Cherm of OnlineClock.net back to our program. You may recall that uh, we spoke with Tom a while back about their original online alarm clock website. But I understand that they've recently passed a milestone and are coming up on uh, on another. So let's jump right in. Tom, welcome to the program. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? I do well, thanks. Uh, well, let's jump in. There's a lot going on over at Online Clock. Um, first of all, congratulations. You're coming up on a uh, sixth year anniversary. Tell us about that. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's quite a milestone for an Internet company. It's kind of like dog years. Uh, the way you measure it is a little bit other than normal years. Six years on the online is a long time. On the 24th of March 2012 will be our six-year anniversary of being online. So we see it as quite a, an accomplishment. Now, uh, at the, at the, in the meantime, you've been growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, if I understand correctly, you're up to 3 million unique visitors per month. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely correct. I just uh, double-checked before starting this interview in Google Analytics for January of 2012 and February of 2012. We were way over the 3 million unique uh, visitors mark for each month, and that's quite a milestone. Um, I'm pretty much amazed at uh, the amount of growth that the website has had over the years, and, and I'm starting, quite frankly, to think that I could make this website into a full-time job. Uh, I'm not quite there yet, uh, but it's becoming increasingly more and more difficult to juggle having a full-time day job and then do working on online clock uh, on evenings and the weekends. Well, I can imagine. Now, for listeners who may not have um, heard your original interview on our station, tell us just a little bit about what online clock does and what you offer to, to visitors. Sure, gladly. Uh, Online Clock is uh, the world's first version of an entire website designed to be an alarm clock. And what I mean by that is it's uh, a very simple website. It's minimally designed. You access the website, it shows you a digital clock, and with a couple of clicks you choose your alarm time, and you leave your web browser open to the website, and your computer on, and the alarm goes off when uh, your alarm time comes around. Now, this sounds incredibly simple, but it's a very useful tool, not just for waking yourself up, but also for setting um, easy online reminders. Since last time we've spoken with you, uh, you've added some more features. I believe there are, gosh, is it a dozen now, different uh, free uh, time tools online, and one of the new ones is the new domino clock. What's that? Yeah, the domino clock is um, a novel uh, way of showing the time where instead of digital num uh, numerals, you actually show uh, dominoes. And the time is shown as if it's on uh, dominoes. Um, and uh, as the time changes, the dominoes are updated to show the current time. Online Clock has always tried to be a very visually appealing website. So we have several different uh, kind of wild and innovative uh, forms of our online clocks. We have uh, an analog clock that um, shows a round clock face that's updated fully using uh, JavaScript as a programming language. We have a binary clock in which the time is shown updated uh, via various different colored balls that flash on and off the screen. These are different kinds of visual representations of time that you really just have to check out online in order to get a better idea. And what about the new Moods Clock? Yeah, the Moods Clock is a development that we're especially proud of. Uh, what this is, is um, it's a way uh, that we've designed to help our users fall asleep faster and easier because our Moods Clock offers several different kinds of appealing sound effects that are designed to lull them to sleep. And we've got several different background sound effects to choose from there. We've got uh, ocean waves, the sound of rain, the sound effects of a forest. And basically, it's our um, online alarm clock with the added option of being able to choose these different kinds of sound effects to listen to in the background while you're trying to fall asleep. 
And with all the other programming going on, I believe you've also expanded the uh, the length of the timers to 90 minutes. Is that right? Yeah, that's another um, addition that we've made. Our uh, online timers have proven to be very popular, especially among people who are involved in different kinds of uh, time management activities. Um, and we've had requests from users uh, to see if we can extend them so that they go up to 90 minutes. So uh, we do listen to our users' requests, and in response to that, we've made them um, uh, for longer periods of time so that they now go up to 90 minutes. Well, you mentioned that this is almost becoming a full-time job for you. Um, actually, take a minute if you would. I understand there are, there are a couple, uh, I want to ask you a couple uh, stories, really, about the last six years as uh, Online Clock has grown. Um, people may not know about this, but tell us a little bit. Uh, there was actually a, a threat from the Serbian Mafia. <laughs> this is a wild story, but I swear it is true, and it actually scared the heck out of me, and uh, scares me to this day sometimes when I think about it. Um, yeah, uh, we have competitors. One of our competitors um, uh, actually threatened us with the Serbian Mafia uh, if uh, our website became more popular than his. Um, so for the longest time, uh, I was <laughs> sleeping a little bit uncomfortably, and uh, I actually told my friends and family that, hey, if I disappear, <laughs> I've gotten this threatening email, um, and uh, that's not the kind of thing you want to receive, but it is a true story. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad you didn't disappear, Tom. Uh, tell yeah, us, thank uh, you. Tell us also, um, kind of a, 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 well, you were on vacation in the Canary Islands, yet you were, weren't really on vacation. You had to res respond to something pretty quickly, didn't you? Yeah, part of um, being the owner of OnlineClock.net means that I have to work uh, sometimes on weekends and even on vacations. It doesn't always thrill my girlfriend. One time I was on vacation at Canary Islands, and I had a previous web hoster, and Online Clock received a surge in popularity over a weekend, and um, it became apparent that the, the web hoster I had was not sufficient to handle all of the traffic. So here I was in a hotel lobby where the only internet was in the, the lobby itself. It was not even in my hotel room. And I was on my laptop, and I had to work literally for uh, almost uh, uh, 24 hours and switching web hosters while I'm on vacation in this beautiful place. And my girlfriend had to go about and try to enjoy her vacation as best he, she could without me until I had uh, finished the server move. And um, not only did that, but um, uh, even last night, um, uh, I noticed that there was a server problem because I have host monitors 24 hours a day, and um, it uh, appeared that uh, the the web hoster had uh, uh, temporarily deactivated my website due to a surge of popularity. Uh, and um, they only reactivated uh, the website on the server after I had moved some of these image files for the numbers to a uh, so-called content delivery network um, so that there was uh, less strain on the server. So um, the history of OnlineClock.net is really a kind of a love-hate relationship with web hosters of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> Well, I guess it comes with all that growth, and uh, you've been doing quite well. How do uh, listeners get a hold of you, and are, are you guys now also using social media tools? Yes. We are very uh, present on Facebook and Twitter. You can reach us at uh, facebook.com slash online clock and twitter.com slash online clock. We have tons of fans. Uh, we post uh, multiple times each day. Um, if anyone ever wants to get in contact with us, they can simply uh, visit our website and click the contact uh, link uh, at the bottom of the website, and they'll find our email address, which is just info at onlineclock.net. We get emails just about every day from fans, and we always answer all of them. Well, congratulations again, Tom, on those milestones. I uh, wish you all the best. We've been speaking with Tom Cherm 
of OnlineClock.net. And Tom, thanks very much for being part of our program. Thank you, Kevin.